I'm Dan Trott, one of the technical support engineers at Rotorque, and I'm here to take you through the procedure for commissioning a CK actuator fitted with a mechanical switch mechanism, as explained in the CK safe use and installation manual. In order to access the mechanical switch mechanism, I need to remove the mechanism cover plate using a 5mm Allen key to remove the four fixing screws. The adjustment settings on the upper side of the mechanical switch mechanism are for the torque output of the actuator. The actuator can be configured to output between 40% and 100% of the nameplate torque independently for both the open and the closed direction. To alter the torque output on the actuator, I need to relax the fixing screw and then adjust the arm behind each indicator window to an appropriate value for the valve. The actuator can be configured for a minimum of 40% in 10% increments up to 100 or maximum. Once I've adjusted the arms as necessary, I need to re-tighten the locking screw. Please note, the screws marked with red should not be adjusted as they are factory calibration settings. The adjustment screws in the center of the mechanical switch mechanism can be used to prove the limit switch or torque switches are functioning in both directions. If I operate the limit switch in the clockwise direction, I prove that the open limit switch is being achieved and if I operate it in the anti-clockwise direction, I prove that the closed limit switch is being achieved. If I operate the torque switch in the clockwise direction, I prove the closed torque switch is operating, and if I operate it in the anti-clockwise direction, I prove that the open torque switch is operating. The remaining settings on the mechanical switch mechanism are for setting the limits. In order to set the limits, we need to move the actuator and the valve to either the closed or the open position. You can start with either the closed or the open position, we would always recommend that all operations are done with the hand wheel until the limits have been successfully set. So I engage the hand operator and I rotate this actuator and valve to the closed position. Once I've reached the closed position, I need to move the set run screw from the run position to set by depressing and rotating 90 degrees. In order to set my closed limit switch, I must adjust my closed limit switch adjustment screw. The final approach for the screw must be made in the clockwise direction as shown on the indicator plates. But it may be quicker for the limit switch to be achieved by operating in the anti-clockwise direction. There is an indicator window giving us an idea of which operation to adjust the screw in order to reach the limit switch the quickest. If I am rotating in the opposite direction to the arrow shown on the plate, I must go past the limit and then back onto the limit so that the final approach is always done in the direction as shown with this screw. I rotate the screw clockwise until the closed limit indication has been achieved. I now must return the set run screw to the run position. It is possible that the gears have not realigned correctly, so a small adjustment of each screw ensures that the gears have correctly realigned. I must now operate the actuator to the open position. Once the actuator and the valve are at the open position, I return the set run screw to the set position, and now I operate the open adjustment screw. Again, the screw must be approached in the direction as shown on the indicator plate, but it may be quicker to operate the switch in the opposite direction of travel. Once the limit switch has been achieved, I return the set run screw to the run position. Again, I must ensure that the gears have realigned by adjusting the screws a very small amount. The actuator should now has its limit set and is available for electrical operation. Once the limits are set, it is always a good idea to run the actuator up and down a couple of times just to ensure it is operating as desired and the torque value sets are sufficient to operate the valve. Thanks for watching the CK Mechanical Switch Mechanism commissioning video. We hope you found it useful and be sure to check back soon for future videos on the CK.